kasih. Tapi kita yakin semalam dah angkat sumpah. Jadi oleh kerana berdasarkan dengan kelembagaan artikel 7 yang ada, uh, Datuk Seri Panglima Mus Aman sudah pun tidak mempunyai uh, jumlah yang mencukupi dan confidence pada publik. Maka saya telah pun menghantar surat kepada TYT untuk menyatakan tentang apa nama uh, sokongan yang diperlui dan sokongan ini telah di, di, diberikan yang saya lampirkan bersama saya hantar kepada TYT it, it is a document and it is a legal document it is a document statutory declaration where each and every one of the members of the state assembly have declared that was in support of me to be appointed as a chief minister So that clearly illustrates and shows that we command the majority of the House. So with that, I do hope that the, you know, the process, due process to be given for me to be sworn in as soon as possible, because we don't want to drag in. There is no government running the state for the time being. But the kebiasaan dia, kalau kita dapat melihat, di peringkat Negeri Sabah ini, dah banyak proses berlaku, peralihan demi peralihan. Pertama, dahulu pun kita uh, lihat di mana bila seseorang ketua menteri ya, yang dah pun menjadi kerajaan, dah pun membentuk kerajaan tapi tak mendapat uh, kumpulan yang mencukupi untuk menguruskan pemerintahan, maka sekaligus mereka terus menyerahkan apa ini, surat uh, peletakan jawatan selaku ketua menteri. Dan banyak ada berlaku dan awal. Satu contoh yang saya masih terlibat secara langsung masa Tan Sri Pairin Ketingan bila peralihan uh, kuasa berlaku di mana AMNO ketika itu mengambil kuasa daripada PBS dan uh, dinyatakan dan dihantar surat saya sendiri menghantar surat kepada tuan yang terutama Tun Syed Keruak ketika itu dan Sukarti menjadi serta sulit kepada beliau selepas itu bila dipermaklumkan oleh TYT kepada uh, Tan Sri Uh, uh, Joseph Pairin Ketingan immediately after that knowing that dia pun sedar dan tahu bahawa tak mencukupi maka mengikut perundangan yang ada dia mengatuhinya dan dia terus meletak jawatan dan membolehkan Tun Sekarang ya, waktu itu Tan Sri Sekarang untuk mengambil alih tampu pemerintahan untuk membolehkan dia mengangkat sumpah jumlah yang uh, kita lihat pada hari ini ya, daripada Akko Habidin Meninggir Kedua, Ibon Benedik, ya, iaitu Abidin Meninggir, Adun Kawasan Paginatan dan tujuh, N7, uh, Saudara Ibon Benedik, N7 Kedamaian daripada UMNO, Hamisa Samad, N59 Tanjung Batu. Kedua, Abdul Muiz Picu, N60 Batik. Ketiga, Osman Jamal N35 Balung, Jamawi Jabat 36 Kemabung. Saya yakin tidak ada pun, ya. ini tanpa ada inducement, tidak ada paksaan. Saya sudah serahkan perkara ini kepada pengetahuan, pengetahuan uh, Tuan Yang Terutama, Tuan Datuk Seri Panglima, Datuk Haji Johar bin Datuk Haji Mahiruddin tentang perkara ini, tentang jumlah ini dan saya yakin Tun sendiri uh, saya yakin telah pun memanggil uh, individu yang terbabit seperti yang saya sebutkan tentang bertanya sama ada keredaan mereka kerelaan mereka untuk bersetuju untuk menyokong saya selaku Ketua Menteri di Perintah Negeri Sabah jadi kalau berdasarkan jumlah yang ada pada hari ini iaitu jumlah daripada Parti Warisan dan rakan-rakan PKR dan DAP kita mempunyai jumlah 29 kalau dah campur 7 ya yeah. 36 dah uh, yeah. mencukupi walaupun kalau ada langkah-langkah mereka mengatakan bahawa ada artikel yang membolehkan lantikan kalau tolak daripada 7 pun dah kurang dah Whether they get any lantikan pun tak mencukupi For them to go from the government Because we have the right number Of commissions of this government So there's no doubt About the, the ability For me to be sung In accordance with the law 
provisions is provided so long as a person among the members has been elected as a member of the State Assembly and command the majority and respect from each individual in support of a person to be appointed as a Chief Minister. So I think this is quite clearly spelled out in the constitutions of the state. So saya berharap perjalanan proses ini akan dapat dihormati oleh semua pihak ya? dan uh, mana-mana yang terbabitnya supaya perkara ini dapat dipatuhi mengikut undang-undang yang sedia ada. Ya? Well, uh, I'm not in position to tell uh, anyone who this hand is, 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 is still white is prerogative. Ya? Well, I just, I just, I didn't discuss what, what matters to be done. But what is important, I just hand over spelling out when I have the confidence of the number and here it is, is we provide that and it is, it is a statutory declaration because we follow the laws and the rules. Yang sedia ada, not only coming from from my side, but also coming from, say, a big here. So all the numbers are there. So I'm quite sure, I think, that TYT should be in positions to know the next step to be taken advising uh, uh, Musaman to end the resignation, yeah? or, or, or otherwise he will, will face the consequence. As the leader now, are you following on Musa to step down? Well, I'm definitely, yeah, because in the first place I do recognize the formations of the government, so I do hope that he do that. But let the, let the governor do that, yeah? So the question, is it possible for you to join in Ayurveda? Well, it's not for me to say that. It's uh, the TYT. I can't force the TYT to call me. <laughs> it's up to the TYT. So long, it's because not the article. As I stipulated, stipulated earlier under Article 7, it is quite clearly, it is under the prerogative of the governor to say that if he sees or may see, notice that a person is uh, secure, competence coming from a good number, and the current gym minister sees to uh, deserve to be supported by those previous ones, then, then uh, it's quite clear that he should step down. He must step down. Yeah. What will you do if he refuse to step down? Well, we do next time. Right? I'm, I'm not going to spare it. There will be a few steps that do. <laughs> we have gone through history and we know what is the next step to be taken. Will, will, you, will you be ready to, uh, to have a no vote for in, uh, the well, that, that, that will depend on the environment and the situations, but they are very stable. There's not this is, of course, that is an also provided uh, where under the, under the law, it, it can, it, it, uh, both two competent can be uh, held in, in, in the state assembly to ensure that to, to ask him to tend his relation, but that will be very embarrassing for him to know throughout the world, for him to, for us to go, we can call if there's a necessity, you know, but then it's not so... <laughs> we are here, we are, we are just requesting everyone, including the Tumusa, to follow the laws, follow the rules. I'm not here to induce people, no inducement that I have given to each and every, every one of them, whether in terms of position, whether in terms of money. You can ask each individual guys here present, it's quite clear that here, they are here voluntarily saying that we are in support of the incoming chief minister. Do you have anything to say about uh, uh, to, uh, Dr. Jeffrey's joining, joining force at the end? Well, he did call me earlier, <coughs> earlier than that. Twice I spoke to him. He gave the assurance that he was in support of me. Uh, that was why I wrote a letter as well to TYT earlier. TYT in the know about this. And then I said, okay, I have the number to form the government. But right after that, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, he was already seen on TV with Musa. But what is important, I'm not going to entice him, or not, nor do I have to invite him to join us. To leave it as it is. I think it's time, it's time for us to move forward. Ya, Terima kasih banyak. Ya. Kalau Dato' Jeffrey nak bersama semula dengan uh, berdasarkan kepada Dato' Sri, adakah Dato' Sri akan terima atau Sri mahu itu? Kita sekarang? tengok dulu. Nah. <laughs> dia ada cakap dengan saya lepas tu dia cakap, lepas tu dia tarik. I don't think this is proper. Dia ada, kena ada lah. Kita ada, dalam politik ni kita kena ada integriti kita dari segi. Dari segi kalau dah kita yakin bahawa orang ini ada kebolehan, dia ada kemampuan dia untuk mentakdir negeri, 
diberikan untuk kebaikan bukan dia, bukan saya, tapi untuk rakyat Sabah mengapa tidak harus diberi sokongan. Tapi dah keadaan berlaku, dia setelah saya cakap dengan dia, lepas itu hilang pula. Ya, tak tahulah mungkin ada. I don't want to accuse anything. It's not nice to accuse people.